take it personal I ain't lying I ain't hiding I've been grinding Multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below, turning on your post notifications and hashtagging Reese Gang down in the comments below. And if you're an OG, welcome back, babe. I have another hair review slash tutorial. Happy holidays, by the way, everybody. It's a new year. Hope you guys wrote down all your goals, manifest everything you want to work hard for it as well. We are on a goal to 50K, y'all. So help a sister out and start sharing everything, all these videos, you know, help a sister out. Anyways, so I have a new hairdo, hair video review. If you guys are interested in how I styled this wig and how I feel about the quality of the wig, then stay tuned. Bye. Lisa, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Uh-uh. Nope. I sure don't. Because we going to Beverly Hills. Now, if I'm going to do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. All right, you guys. You are here for a hair review slash tutorial. So I'm going to do the hair review first and then the tutorial. So timestamps will be down in the description below if you're interested in skipping around. But this hair is by Beauty Forever. Yes, Beauty Forever. Thank you so much, Beauty Forever. I am working with them. Um, they sent me this beautiful wig. I'm so hyped because I really wanted to try this style. And Beauty Forever, you came through. So I appreciate them. They always have beautiful packaging. It came with a 22 inch wig. So they gave me a wig cap. They gave, they always add little jewelry or something that is dealing with any of the season that you buy the wig. So of course it's Christmas. That's why I, this box is you know, a little festive. And they also gave me a bomb head wrap, which I definitely used in this video as well. So shout out to Beauty Forever. They sent me a 13 by four lace wig. It's 22 inches. It's 150% density. It is virgin hair. So it is a body wave wig. They don't state what type of hair it is, but I know for sure this is a transparent lace wig so if you guys are interested in wearing wigs make sure you always get the transparent hd anything in those lines the cap size is 21.5 inches my overall opinion i'll have all the rest of the um description down below if i'm missing anything adjustable straps combs had all of that transparent lace all that anyways my overall opinion is the cap size is very very small i did have to cut almost into the wig just for it to hit uh, fit my ears so definitely see if you can contact beauty forever for a better sizing of the wig if you have a bigger head um but that's the only that was my overall con about this wig which is definitely fixable if you communicate with the company mm, the hair it took color well obviously i added this blonde patch the quality of this hair is beautiful i know it's gonna last me months um yeah, it's gonna last me months. I blended the wig, it was easy to blend. I did have to bleach the knots twice. I might have to bleach them one more time because the knots were a little thicker than usual, but it still looks like, you can't see my lace. You can't see my lace at all. So I did my job. Um, that's all I really have. I really love Beauty Forever. I love working with, with them. Just showing you guys different hairstyles that I could do and that I want to try out. If you have any other hairstyles that you would like for me to try out, definitely DM me some pictures or whatever. Follow me on Pinterest. I am curating different boards of little styles of my, um, you know, loft hair, fashion, all that on my Pinterest right now. So I have that link down below too so yes i got inspiration from this pinterest video and it didn't even show like it even showed her whole head it only showed like part of her head which you can't really see but i was still able to achieve the same thing that i saw on pinterest so if you guys are ever like wondering where to get ideas pinterest is the way to go and following Reese on there is the way to go too 
All right, you guys, so that's basically it. I don't have anything else to say about Beauty Forever hair. I'm going to transfer you to the next slide where I am going to explain how I achieved this hair. So yeah, bye. y'all we about to get right into it this is a very very detailed video so take some notes you know all that so first off we are going to apply our wig first and then part your hair however you like this time I'm doing a side part I always do middle parts but what I saw on Pinterest she had a side part so we're gonna do a deep deep side part so I try to go as deep as possible once I got the part I'm going to just part maybe a half an inch, I wanna say, of the frontal, as you can see. We're gonna create a nice little rectangle, make it sharp, make it precise, because this is where we're going to bleach the whole thing. So just, you know, braid that up, put that on the side, and we're gonna get right into it. So get your wig head, get a plastic bag, something to protect your wig head, pin down your wig. We're going to get some BW2 and some 40 volume developer. This is all the bleach I use. I don't use any other volume developer. I just use this one because I did not feel like going back to the store. So this is just, you know, the unprofessional way y'all, but it still came out how I liked. So yeah. I hope y'all still with me because this is just the beginning, y'all. Okay, get that Got To Be Glue Blast Free Spray and spray the hair, spray the frontal, but not the parted spot that we did. This is going to help protect your wig um, from over bleaching, even though you will see I did over bleach and I will show you how I fixed that. But definitely do more rounds that I did. Get your foil ready. Prep everything before getting into it. I'm using plastic Ziploc bags because I didn't have any gloves. Like I said, I'm not going back to the store for nothing. I'm using what I have. Be generous with adding the bleach. Um, adding the bleach on the whole thing is very optional i am going to go back to dye the ends not the ends but the roots black so if you want that just skip that step from bleaching the whole thing get some makeup makeup wipes on hand because you will get a little messy and get some bleach on the hair that you don't want to get bleach on so i'm just going back in there as you can see, I'm not perfect, so definitely have those makeup wipes on hand or any alcohol wipes if you have them. They work even better. Um, so yeah. So once you have the bleach onto the hair, just get your foil, fold that up, and get it out of the way. Make sure you clean up any spots that you have got bleach on that you don't want bleach on. And then what we're going to do is flip that over. Be careful because bleach is going to get into the hair. So this process needs to be, you have to work as fast as you can on this step when bleaching the knots. So I'm using the same bleach and I'm going to go in, bleach the knots, go as fast as you can, but not too fast. Take your time, y'all. I speeded it up, but yeah, whatever. So as you can see, I got a lot of bleach on the hair that I don't want to get bleach on. So I'm just going to go in with the wipe. Don't worry, the wipes are going to help. Just have that on hand. I left that in for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then now I'm just rinsing the hair. That's all I did was rinse this hair because we got multiple rounds to do, y'all. I had to bleach the, the knots twice. I had to bleach the hair three times. So get your pen and paper out. <laughs> So this is round two, y'all. Make sure you, you know, just get all the hair out the way. As you can see, I over bleached the frontal, so we're gonna fix that in a second. So I'm re-bleaching the bang, bang. And as you can see, it's turning really good, but the knots are a little darker and brassy. So what we're gonna do is mix some more bleach and just add some bleach to the bang. Let me stop. Okay, so this is some black hair dye, y'all. We're gonna add, get some black hair dye and a very small brush. This brush is made for applying dye to roots. 
And if you don't have that, you can use a toothbrush as well. So what I'm doing while the bang yang is bleaching, <laughs> let me stop saying that, okay. While the bang is still bleaching, we are going to go into the rest of the frontal and dye the roots black because I over dyed them. As you can see, they're all brassy and orange and that's not cute. We want it salon quality, okay sis? Salon quality top tea, okay? So we are going in. This kills two birds with one stone. So while your bang is bleaching we are just going in with the black and be careful i like to part it and hang on to the hair while i'm bleaching the frontal so i don't get any of the black onto the frontal because then you're gonna have to re-bleach it again and that is just a pain that's a pain sis so what i'm doing here is going to bleach the roots and then or not bleach the roots dye the roots black and then i'm gonna flip this wig over and bleach the knots again because you can't see it on the camera but i can see it in real life the knots were still black and big that's one thing about this frontal is is very big black knots and we don't like that we want it to be seamless looking like scalp okay so I'm gonna stop talking and let you watch this. You guys, this is the second round of me bleaching the knots on my frontal. You do not have to do this step because honestly, I'm just a very perfectionate person. So this step is just very optional. About 15 minutes later, I'm showing you how it's looking. The bank is looking bomb, but the knots are a little orange as you can see. But we are going to go back and dye that black. So now after 20 minutes, we are taking our L'Oreal Purple Conditioner. This stuff is so bomb. You don't even need toner for your hair. Just soak your frontal and the bang into this stuff and it's going to um, tone your wig and it's going to turn everything very grayish, ashy, all that, which for black women, ashy blonde is just the best type of color you could do for um, any blonde looks. <laughs> so I'm taking my little hair crack silicone mix. The OGs know about this one. I let it soak for about 10, 15 minutes. Now we are on round three, y'all. Have patience. I am dyeing this hair and bleaching this hair while it's still wet, cause you know, I'm a very impatient person. I'm an Aries. We like to just get the job done. We don't care. We're just trying to get it done. So what I'm doing right now is just getting the black dye and using my little root touch up brush and going back in right here. I am, this is very optional, but be careful with this step. Honestly, by you not bleaching the whole thing, you could just skip this step altogether. But me, I bleached the whole thing thinking it's just gonna look cute all bleach, but it wasn't. The frontal was still brown, or yeah, the frontal was still brown while the bang was blonde, beach blonde. So I'm going in to dye the roots black again. As you can see, I'm holding it up so I can get more precision in bleaching, or not bleaching, dyeing the roots black and not the frontal part the lace part because if you do that it's going to defeat the purpose of you bleaching your knots okay so yeah now that i have the roots bleached i'm or died <laughs> y'all these words getting confused but um as you can see i am bleaching the bang one more time three times is the magic number um, I want you guys to be careful with doing this step. I think my mistake was dyeing the roots black and bleaching the bang at the same time because once the bleach touches the black, it will turn the hair green and it came out into this ugly green color. And to avoid this step, definitely bleach the bang one more time, rinse it and then dye the roots black but still it came out really good um 
I can't complain but that's just one thing I will do next time if I want to redo this hairstyle so what I'm doing is washing the bayang first um, because that's the most sensitive part of the wig is very brittle and weak so I'm taking that purple conditioner letting it soak I'm using some children's uh, shampoo detangling shampoo I'll have everything listed down in the description 1 through 10 of all the products that I did so this time I just got my purple shampoo and the silicone mix get some very hot water and soak the bang in the water because it's very dry it was shedding and we don't like that so do that this step to bring back moisture let it condition all the way for about an hour and now let's go on to the next day y'all already have the wig applied if you want to see a detailed video on how i apply wigs i'll have that linked in the comment cards and in the description if you're interested in the products that i'm using it will be in the description as well because i am speeding this step up So I'm going to take my wax stick and a hot comb and I'm just going to lay my frontal as flat as I can um, just to get rid of any bumps and just to make it look like it's, I came out of a salon. I'm going to take my She products. I did use the She serum and the She hairspray to create those, these curls. This hair that I got from Beauty Forever is very silky and very like... Indian I want to say this is an Indian because it doesn't take it does take curls but it's very very silky so the curls do fall but I'm not really tripping about that over time the curls are gonna hold but when it's fresh like that the curls do fall a little bit so maybe use a smaller curling iron barrel this is like a half an inch and then I am speeding it up, but towards the bang, I am pin curling it, which again, you just wrap the curl that you already curled, get a bobby pin or a banana clip and pin that up and just let it sit there until it cools down. I'm going to work on my baby hairs and my makeup and then come back to you on that hair. So now I'm finished with my makeup. I got my baby hairs laid and slayed. Some people be coming for me for my baby hairs. So I didn't show it this time, but let me know if you guys want to see that. I'm taking some of this serum. It's like a pomegranate hair silk spray. I like to put it on the hot comb. This will create a very silky, shiny look. Like it's just, you know, fresh out the salon. And now I'm taking a wide tooth comb and I'm going to brush out all my curls. As you can see, the curls are falling a little bit, but don't be, a li don't be afraid. It's going to um, still come out very loose-like. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but get an eyebrow razor or any type of scissors. I like using an eyebrow razor because I get more precise in how I want to cut my bang. And as you can see, this hair is bomb. Like, look at me. I was so hyped, y'all, just too hyped, because this hairstyle came out so bomb. Like, I was telling my boyfriend upstairs, like, look, this is a look. I know this is just, people are gonna ask for this hair, period, because I did that. What did I do? I did that. Look at how bomb this is. So, um, I'm basically done. This is just an extra step. I felt like my parting was a little bit too big and I want that nice, sleek, you know, Instagram, frontal, sharp part type of look. So what I'm doing is getting some black hairspray and a rat tail comb. Be careful with the step because if you do mess up, you cannot go back. You cannot go back, sis. So I'm being very careful and I'm trying to make my part as sharp as possible. And then after I do that, I'm gonna go in with some concealer and conceal that part, make it sharp and precise and just bomb because you know, 
I'm a perfectionist and that's basically it thank you so much beauty forever for sending me this wig so I could try out this hairstyle um comment down below if you liked it or anything else <laughs> so yeah all right you guys that's basically it that's all I have for you don't forget to like comment and subscribe happy new year I miss you guys so much I know I've been you know lagging with my YouTube videos but I'm coming back strong stronger than ever okay that's basically it y'all bye